Around the start of your first linear algebra course, you encountered systems of linear equations. Such a system is a number of linear equations for the variables x1 up to xn. In this case, the x1 up to xn were numbers, and a solution of your linear system consists of numbers satisfying all these equations at once. We can play the same game with differential equations. A system of differential equations is a number of differential equations for the functions x1 of t up to xn of t. Your solutions are now not numbers, but functions x1 of t up to xn of t. And these functions have to be found such that all the differential equations of the system are satisfied at once. As you might guess, this is a very large topic, much broader than the systems of linear equations from linear algebra. We will devote a series of web lectures to this subject, and in this first web lecture of the series, we will look into some terminology and we will encounter our first, first system of differential equations. So let us get started. So what do we have? We have equation of the following form. x1 prime is some right hand side and the right hand side may depend on x1 up to xn and t. t is typically interpreted as time. And then the second differential equation for x2 prime and some other right hand side up till the last differential equation x n prime and some given right hand side. So the f1, f2 and so on are given functions of uh, x1 up to xn and t. So we have one independent variable t and we have n dependent variables x1 up to xn of t. And those right hand sides are given. So what we are looking for is functions, x1 of t is some function phi1 of t up till xn of t equals phi n of t. And once we have those functions, when we plug everything in into those equations, all of them should be satisfied. So that is the game. So let us take a look at a few examples. So example one, we will take n equals two. We will often take n equals two. It gives the general idea already and otherwise we will get very large systems. So first example, like x1 prime equals this right hand side here, x1 squared plus t minus 1 times x2 squared. So quite a messy right hand side already. And x2 prime is also some given function of x1, x2 and t. So in this case we just have e to the power x1 minus 3x2 plus t cubed. Also some function of x1, x2 and t. Well, this is already too messy for us to solve. So let us take a bit easier example. So example two. Now the right hand sides do not depend on t. And furthermore, they are a bit easier. They only depend linearly on x1 and x2. So that's also an example of a system of differential equations. And in example three, we look even into an easier example. There we have x1 prime equals three times x1 and x2 prime equals minus four times x2. Even easier example. Now let's take a look at solutions. I will just state the solutions and we will see that they indeed satisfy the differential equations. So example three is the easiest one because there x1 prime equals three times x1. So that does not depend on x2. So you can solve this one first and you know how to do it. It's just a constant times e to the power of three t. And x2 prime equals minus 4x2, so this one does not depend on x1, so you can solve that separately of uh, x1, and here you have the solution. So our final solution is x1 of t equals constant times e to the power of 3t, and x2 of t equals some other constant times e to the power of minus 4t. You could solve these separately there, what's called uncoupled. Then moving on to example 2. I'll give the solution now, later you will learn how to find it. So the solution is, this is a sub x1, combination of exponentials, and this is an x2. And now you can check that this is indeed a solution of our system of differential equations, because if you differentiate this x1, 
you get uh, minus c1 e to the power minus t plus 3 times c2 times e to the power minus 3t, which is indeed x2. So we satisfy our first differential equation. And let's check that we satisfy our second differential equation as well. Uh, if we compute x2 prime, we get from uh, uh, this term a plus c1 e to the power minus t, and from this term a minus 9 times c2 times e to the power minus 3t. And if we compute minus 3 times x1, we get um, minus 3c1, minus 4 times uh, x2 gives us a plus 4c1, gives us indeed c1 times e to the power minus t. And for this the other term we get a plus uh, 3 times e to the power minus 3, minus 12c2 e to the power minus 3t is indeed minus 9 times c2 e to the power minus 3t. So indeed, we also satisfy the second differential equation. So this is indeed the solution of our system of differential equations. Now, here I gave the solution. I would check that this is indeed a solution. So how, do we do, how are we going to do this in general? Well, this was just the start of a series of web lectures. So there will be a lot of web lectures following about how to solve all these systems.